Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Guillaume. This is Thomas Guitars and Basses at NAMM 2024, and I'm here at Martin Guitars with Fred, who's going to run us through all the new stuff, all the exciting stuff that exactly. Martin has to offer. Thank you so much for taking the time, man. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it. So this is our new GPCE Inception guitar. What makes it a little bit different is it's all domestic hardwood, so domestic North American hardwoods. Yeah. Uh, it's a maple guitar, obviously a cutaway and a grand performance body shape. I don't know if you played a lot of maple acoustic guitars. Maple can be, it has its own flavor. Yeah. It's a, it's a little different. So it has a very, very strong fundamental note, kind of sound a little compressed from time to time. Yeah, very sh like sh long, uh, short decay and like very intense Correct. sort of spikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Most people try to sort of overcome that flavor of the maple by just making bigger guitars, you know, lots yeah. of jumbos and yeah, things yeah. like that. But we knew we wanted to make a smaller guitar, we might make a small body, uh, something with a cutaway. So by using maple with a small cutaway, it presented certain problems. We wanted to sweeten up the sound a little bit. We needed the top to move more. Yeah. So we wanted to lighten the instrument up without losing any of the string. So that's where we moved into this top bracing where we were able to go ahead and sort of skeletonize the braces on the instrument using a hexagon pattern. And then as you can see in between the hexagons, when you look closely, you can see an X. That's almost a shame to have that inside the guitar. Like it's just, you won't see it, but it's beautiful. Just thank you for saying that. But we still didn't quite have it the way we wanted it. So we added these tone channels, these routings around all the braces right, right. as a way of allowing the top to move even more. Yeah. We put a wedge in the back of the instrument. That's beautiful. Thank you. And it's, it's a walnut wedge. And instead of going with a traditional 35 style, very straight, this one has a curve to it. Yeah. And there's a bulge sort of in the center. Mm -hmm. And the widest point of the wedge falls directly underneath, under the, bridge, yeah. under the bridge. So we're capturing as much of that walnut sound as we can. We have a walnut bridge, walnut fingerboard. We went with walnut binding because we're trying to avoid plastics wherever we could, right? Kind of more of an eco bend to, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. to the instrument. The neck is also walnut. We went with the satin finish, lots of sunbursting all around the instrument. So it's very, very different for us. Has its own unique sound. Yeah. Really cool, really fun to play. Mike's gonna show you some more guitars. I'm gonna get to Mike then. Well, that's beautiful. I didn't have to move. Mike came right to me with all 12, 11 uh, new guitars. Yeah, <laughs> yep. there's a total of 12 uh, new X-Series remastered that we just released. There are three different patterns that we laid out on the back and sides. But what is really cool is this is actual sets of wood that we had in our, our vault that we pulled out. We went through maybe a hundred plus sets to get some some different varieties of uh, Brazilian rosewood, Cody, and Cocobolo. Yeah. And what we did is we did a high resolution scan and then we transferred it onto the HPL yeah. back sides and it now has a matching head plate. And you can see all 12 of the X-Series remastered, has a satin tuning machines. We did a modernized SC style bridge for comfort when playing, yeah. with your hands up against that. We thinned out the fingerboard and we finessed the uh, spacing of the strings up at the nut. Comes with a Martin E1 electronic with a very accurate uh, chromatic tuner. Yeah. Second guitar. All right, so this is the uh, Cocobolo pattern. Yep. You can see we hand selected again through our wood library.
And then one of my favorites. Oh. It's a Brazilian rosewood, 12 string, yeah. right? So we have a variety of body shapes from a double O to a GPC, all black. Yeah. X-Series remastered, 2024 NAM, Martin Guitar. Organic, make it look natural. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, thank you so much, Mike. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you for coming by. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any more questions about the guitars, check the link in the description. Thank you, Martin, for putting all this together. And uh, Thanks for coming by. We'll see you very soon, and we'll see you guys sooner. Bye.